To practice batting a cricket, a novice learner can first start by practicing a one-handed backswing. This will enhance their non-dominant backswing and for our novice learner, that is her left hand. Because she's so used to batting in softball, this exercise will help her adjust to the different body movement required for batting. But I'm going to put the ball in one hand and I'm just going to place it in front of my body like so. So that's pretty simple to do. All we're going to do is we're just going to lob the ball up. Okay, it's going to bounce once and then I'm going to make sure I move into a quality striking position and we're going to work on our weight distribution and our balance. Alright, so one bounce and striking on the second bounce. So we're just going to work on our front foot play, our drives. And what we're looking for is the shoulders to be still pointing down to the ball and the weight to be over the front leg beautifully. Okay, now I'll just show you one thing with another tennis ball. To practice weight transfer, a novice learner can balance on a half medicine ball while having different balls thrown at them while practicing the non-dominant backhand swing. To help understand why stance and proprioception is important during the follow-through, a novice learner can practice stopping arm swing as soon as the bat makes contact with the ball to help understand when the skill For some applications that we can do, we can do a competitive-like situation um, we can put different like targets in the field and have them aim for the target and see where it bounces as a sign of force and how they're doing with their backhand. Um, another application that we can do is to assess performance by creating a list and checking to see if they have proper stance, their proper form, a proper swing, and then see how much force they have.